What's up, guys? It's your boy Justin Facetti back again with another data token video, another cryptocurrency update. Like I said, this is going to be part two of the replay type of video that I made before. Probably going to be a little shorter and not so much in depth about the article, but more about me diving into the tokenomics and who these individuals are. But before I dive into everything, just a friendly reminder to please hit that like and subscribe one as it does help my channel out and also help you guys find more theta news. And also another huge thank you to Guardians of Theta for sponsoring this video in terms of their clothing that they were able to give me. So as you can tell, here is the new sweater. And then I'll definitely put the link down below in the description so it's a lot easier to find their website and also their project. So going on to everything else, we're gonna go back onto Replay's article or their homepage, I mean. So we're gonna see the about. So we're gonna see about us, Replay team. Replay is incubated by a B20 Labs, a company owned by Dan Goikman and Chris Arvapali, I believe is how you pronounce it. 15 years working together across emerging media distribution and monetization companies, conceptualizing, launching, and scaling end-to-end -end solutions for content owners and distributors. Serial entrepreneurs launched and built several companies in the space. And then, oh, there's, I'm not going to butcher any of these names, so we're going to just see that it's posted right there, and we're going to dive into the individuals. So we're going to see that CEO Krish. A, Chris A, because I don't want to put your name. I'm so sorry, man. Going down, we're going to see a serial entrepreneur, first startup at 16, co founder and held CTO roles at Mojiva and Motion Mobile 24, pioneered mobile's first digital ad platform over, I believe that says 10,000 plus QPS, built from core over 70 plus engineers and sold to Pew Pubmatic. Yeah, Pubmatic. Then co founded chief product at Unreal, an OTT video streaming platform for content owners, built core video infrastructure and live streaming systems. Acquired by Power.TV, now as I say it says BitCentral, then most recently End Screen TV, a unique content uh, content pod video ad unit for CT advertising. And then we're going to go to Midori A. Looks like they're related, I want to assume, because the last name is very similar and they're also on the same project, but I don't want to just assume that. So we're going to see Midori Chief Engineer. Chief Engineer at B20 Labs, building live stream applications and APF framework for video processing delivery. Lead Engineer at Endscreen TV, building audio and video stitching technologies for high throughout throughput TED Tech Systems, Lead Engineer at GoPro for GoPro Plus, a highly scalable fault tolerant subscription payments platform, holds four patents building video indexing platform that leverages social data, passionate blockchain, and dApps developer. Then we also have Business Development and Strategy, Dan G. Goikman, I believe, partner of B20 Labs, serial entrepreneur in emerging media monetization and distribution. Past companies include Mojiva, Pomatic, it looks like Dandelion, Unreal, Uncube, presently uh, Evangelist at BitCentral, Power TV for a platform behind some of the biggest names in streaming, including Pro Saibans, S71, Blaze Media, Broadway On Demand, and dozens of others. Experience at experience at taking products from the back of a napkin through to revenue scale. So as you can tell, we have a very highly motivated individuals initiative in terms of going towards their goals, it seems like. As you can tell, this individual, the CEO, was at the age of 16 co-founder and held CTO roles in Mojiva and then these individuals with their pictures itself also look young themselves. So diving into a little bit of the tokenomics, this might be a little dark so I'm probably going to turn off my dark reader so let's turn that bad boy off. Here is the roadmap or terms of the tokenomics. I know with Theta it's very easy and this one like it goes back and forth between consumers, creators, so it's a huge ecosystem as you can tell. So I guess we'll start down here with the advertiser because it's kind of hard to really tell what I should start. I guess what the Con content providers let's go, i guess we'll start down here so advertiser pay for ads similar to hulu then there's fiat just like the black currency re art play tokens distributor and then you also have the art play and fiat go to the platform and then it, it goes from here it could go to an nft it can go to art play over here because then the art play tokens go to the content provider and then that goes down to the staking contract or content provider can also use their art play tokens to start staking and then you here you have real-time earnings claim function bulk purchable R play tokens and then go from here from content revenue ownership you can have your own nfts and that goes down here the content consumers so for example if i had my own nft and decided that then people can buy that then that will be going to my consumers and from there they can use exchanges to buy R play tokens or usdc that goes to the content consumers and then it can just go back to R play tokens it's just a huge cycle and then you have token sales and then you have convert fiat to R play tokens and enable advertisers to pay in fiat so there's a whole mechanism in terms of how this whole thing can go overall itself we have the content creators like i said and you have the consumers and it goes from consumer can use their own usdc like a decentralized or a, an exchange 
that type of deal convert that money into our play tokens and buy nfts or i'm not too sure if you can buy an nft with just the usdc type of token already that's uh, something new to me also as a viewer and also a theta enthusiast so really looking forward to this type of partnership and how this can go a long way for the content creators and consumers itself. I did message them in terms of being incorporated into this. So really looking forward to more updates. Definitely check out their Discord. I'll put all the links down below in the description like I mentioned. But I believe that's everything here. I also think there's another thing. This is their tokenomics. Their like white paper I believe. So I'll also looks like I'll put this down below in the description. So it's a lot easier for you guys to follow along. And really understand the whole definition of it. I just want to do a quick short part 2. Because I know part 1 was very very long and very more of reading wise not really more of analyzing the whole content but this definitely really dives deeper into it the tokenomics and that's what i really like about it overall because it does go in another universal type of circle so everyone is basically earning something for participating in either the viewership or the content creation is really what it comes down to but thank you guys so much again for watching this video subscribing to the channel in the short period of time i've gained a decent amount of subscribers and really looking forward to growing in this upcoming year and really looking forward to seeing you guys in the next one if you're new to the channel please hit that like and subscribe button as it does help my channel out and also helps you guys find more theta relevant news nft partnerships and other just partnerships in general but until then it's your boy justin bassetti so try to keep up hi deuces okay,